Hello again, this is Charles from Next Level Purchasing, and a topic that has been on my mind lately has been the topic of procedure writing. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a short vlog to share with you some of my philosophies on the topic of purchasing procedure writing. Number one, I think it's important to understand uh, the importance of procedures. You know, procedures should be put in place to ensure quality and continuity. And what I mean by that is, your procedures should be written so that irrespective of who executes a certain process, the quality will still be good and the result will still be the same. And with regard to continuity, your procedures should be written so that if you lose an employee for a vacation, a medical leave, or even if that employee leaves the company, you will feel covered by the fact that another employee can come in read the procedure and do a reasonably good job of executing the related process. Number two, it's important to realize that unless you do a good job of selling your procedure writing initiative to your employees, there will likely be a lot of resistance. And a funny anecdote I have about that is I was consulting for a company and the management talked about uh, their procedure writing initiative and they referred to their procedures as standard operating procedures or SOPs. Well, the non-management employees also referred to the procedures as SOPs, but their definition of SOP was a little bit different. Uh, they referred to it as something on paper, and I'll let your PG-13 imagination uh, tell you what the, that something stood for. So do a good job of selling uh, the initiative and communicating why it's important and, and getting people on board with it. And then number three is something that I call the Powerball principle of procedure writing. And this is something we use here at Next Level Purchasing and I always say if all of the employees played the Powerball and won like hundred million dollars or more and then decided not to come back to work I want to be able to take our procedures and get some folks off the street who are reasonably intelligent and computer literate and have them be able to step in and do a good job in as short a time as possible. And that requires the procedures to be very, very detailed. And you know, when we're writing procedures, you know, sometimes we, we know how to do what we do. Um, so we don't think about all the details, but I like to break it down as finely and as granularly as possible uh, as part of this Powerball principle. So those are just some quick thoughts on, on procedure writing. Hope it helps and I wish you the best of luck if you do choose to uh, get your team to write new procedures. Every purchasing department should have a procedures manual. So uh, until the next vlog, this is Charles Dominic with Next Level Purchasing, thanking you for tuning in.